Hello and welcome back to Shredder Zoo. Today we are continuing our journey into the bug house to look at not one but two inhabitants, the Pulmonoscorpius and the Aranio. First up is the Pulmonoscorpius. The first thing you will notice about it is that it is big, very big, although not quite as big as depicted here. Today the world record holder for the largest scorpion is the Heterometrus swamidami, measuring in at 9 inches, 23 centimeters in length and weighing as much as 56 grams. But this is dwarfed by the Pulmonoscorpius, which measures in at 28 inches, 70 centimetres. The Pulmonoscorpius was discovered by Andrew Duram in East Kirkton Quarry in Scotland. Duram found an impressive complete fossil of a juvenile scorpion measuring 30 centimetres and fragments of an adult, but that indicated the much larger estimate of 70 centimetre lengths. These remains date from the Vicean Epoch of the Carboniferous around 340 million years ago, and it's this time period that holds the key to the large size of the Pulmonoscorpius. Terrestrial invertebrates, a group that includes insects, spiders and scorpions among others, breathe through a series of external openings on their exoskeletons called spiracles, which allow air to enter the trachea and deliver oxygen directly to the animal's tissues. The bigger the animal, the more oxygen required. The atmospheric content of oxygen during the Carboniferous reached its highest levels in geological history, 35% compared with 21% today, allowing terrestrial invertebrates to evolve to a great size. We can make good estimates about the lifestyle of the Pulmonoscorpius by looking at its remains. It had proportionally larger eyes than today's scorpions, which could indicate it was a more visually orientated hunter, and although we can't say for certain what it would have ate, as a scorpion, it would have almost certainly have been a carnivore, probably eating other arthropods and maybe amphibians and early reptiles. Pulmonoscorpius would probably have killed using the venom in its tail. This is inferred because it had small pincers and a thick tail, which in modern scorpions generally means that it kills by poisoning its prey. The name Pulmonoscorpion means breathing scorpion and relates to the preserved evidence of book lungs. Book lungs are not related to the lungs of modern land or invertebrates. Their name describes their structure. Stacks of alternating air pockets and tissue filled with hemolymph, the arthropod equivalent of blood, give them the appearance similar to a folded book. The number varies from just one pair in most spiders to four pairs in scorpions. The folds maximise the surface exposed to air and thereby maximise the amount of gas exchanged within the environment. Like the Pulmonoscorpius, the Aranio is an arachnid. But unlike the scorpion, this giant spider is not based on any one real-life species. It is made up of several traits from modern spiders and just increased in size. Much like the Pulmonoscorpius and the Meganeura which lived around the same time, prehistoric spiders may well have been larger than those around today, but as of yet the fossil record does not appear to support this. The largest prehistoric spider found to date is the Mongolia arachne, which has a total body length of approximately 24.6 mm, that's less than an inch at 0.97 inches, is comparable to modern golden orb weaver spiders. But this is dwarfed by the largest modern spiders. The Goliath bird eater tarantula is the largest spider in the world and can have a leg span of up to 28 cm, that's 11 inches, and a body length of up to 11.9 cm, that's 4.7 inches, and can weigh up to 175 grams. The Goliath spider uh, is the largest by mass, but it is beaten in the leg span by the giant huntsman spider, which can have a leg span of up to 30 centimeters, that's one foot. Of course, when it comes to spiders, it's not all about the size. In Ark, the Urania has a dangerous bite, which can make it pass out. Both the Goliath and the huntsman can bite, but it's no more painful than a wasp sting. The Brazilian wandering spider is officially the world's most venomous spider. It is capable of injecting a powerful neurotoxin which is nearly 20 times more deadly than that of the black widow spider if it gets into the bloodstream. The symptoms of envenomation include a loss of muscle control leading to breathing problems which can result in complete respiratory paralysis and eventually asphyxiation. Also known as banana spiders, wandering spiders have been known to hitch a ride across the globe in boxes of bananas. In one case, a man in the UK was bitten after buying bananas in his local supermarket. So always check your bananas, don't have nightmares, and thanks for watching. And join me next time for some more extinct creature talks here at Shredder Zoo. Thank you, and goodbye.